Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And today we're getting ready to make a chicken waterer. So to make a real simple chicken waterer, um, you're gonna need a few things, okay? Number one, you're gonna need yourself a five gallon bucket, all right? You're gonna need some of these watering cups. Now, these are chicken watering cups right here. You can order them online from Amazon. Um, I think I'll put a link to the um, in the description box to Amazon to show you where you can get these. Or you can pick them up from your local tractor supply. They have them as well. So, because I'm making a couple of waters, I'm going to start off with just two of these per five gallon bucket. Okay? You're also going to need some thread tape. And you can get this for maybe a buck or so at Home Depot or Tractor Supply. It's not expensive, okay? You're also going to need a drill. And you're going to need a 3 8 inch drill bit, okay? This 3 8 inch drill bit. Your drill, your thread tape, two chicken watering cups, and one 5 gallon bucket. So you all, let's go ahead and get started and get this chicken water underway. We're going to start with our bucket. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill a couple of holes in the bottom of our bucket. And you want to drill those holes about three inches from the bottom of your bucket, okay? So now, I've already did my first hole, and I'm getting ready to put in my next hole about six inches away from the first hole. So what I'm going to do, and it's no rocket science to this, I haven't pre-measured or anything like that, but I'm just showing you here. So what I'm going to do, about six inches from here, I'll say, about right here, and all I'm going to do is put in another hole, and I'm going to do my best to make sure that the holes are along the same line, right? Perfect. Okay, so now I have my two holes here, about six inches apart, okay? Those are my two holes. Have a look. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my watering nipples, and I'm also going to take some of this tape right here. I don't even need a lot of it, right? But I'm going to take this tape, and I'm going to wrap it around the threads here. Uh. I think I'm going to wrap it around the threads. <laughs> so, just taking the tape and wrapping it around the threads, right? All right, that should be good. I'm just going to break that off, like so. That's what that looks like. And I'm going to take this and screw this into the bucket, right here. Well, i got to put some elbow grease in it. had to get up <laughs> okay now you can see I had to really put my elbows into it right and putting that little tape on there will just help to make sure that the threads hold in the bucket and that the water doesn't kind of leak out as well and I'm gonna turn that as much as I can and that's that that's water water cup number one I'm going to do the same thing for the other hole uh, right here. Again, I'm going to grab my, my watering cup here. I'm going to grab my thread tape. And I'm going to start wrapping it around the threads. 
like so. And I'm putting it on a little thick, right? Just to make sure I get a good seal on this and it's nice and tight. Break that off. Okay. And down on the bucket it goes. Yep, I'm going to have to put some elbow grease into this again. Mashing that down and turning as I go. And there it goes. Alright, and now I have my water. I'm just going to fill this up with water, and as the chickens drink from this, they're going to peck at this right here. And once they peck at that little yellow beak in there, is what I'm calling it, it'll release the water for them to drink it directly from this little cup, okay? So let's go ahead and get it filled with water, and let's have a look and see how it's working for us, okay? All right, you all, I'm filling the bucket up with water. I forgot to mention, you're also going to need a lid for this five-gallon bucket, okay? So don't forget your lid. And no matter what bucket you get, just make sure that it has a lid that you can seal. You don't want your chickens getting inside of this bucket. Making a mess everywhere. All right, you all, so this bucket is filling up with water. That water you see in the cup, I did that with the water hose as I was moving it over. But there's nothing in that one. So I'm filling it up with water. Okay. So now, stop it. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. You see that? Look at this. They mash that little nipple down, out comes the water. And it fills up in this little cup right here, right? So they can drink it directly from the cup. How awesome is that? And that's it. Okay, so, so far I don't have any leaks around my little, uh, my little holes here where I drill my holes with my 3 8 inch drill bit. That's dry as a bone. So that's pretty good. All right, let me get this into the chickens. Get them some water. All right, we're gonna get the water to our chickens. And another thing I would suggest, I would put this up on a cinder block or something, get it off the ground. I would do that to make it a little bit easier for them to get the water, but just to keep it up off the ground too. and that'll probably help to make the nipples last a lot longer so I'm gonna get this in all right y'all so you can see it didn't take them long to figure it out did they look they figured it out right away they went right for it right now I have a lot of birds in here so what I'm gonna do is two waters with two nipples instead of one waterer with two nipples and the reason why I'm doing it that way is because the nipples are expensive at tractor supply so I'm gonna make it stretch I'm gonna do two waters instead of one each with two nipples that should be plenty for them so like I said as you can see okay you guys come on there you go so as you can see they have figured it out with no problems and they are thirsty it took me a few minutes to get that water to them this morning so I'm sorry, y'all. My goodness, my goodness. You got it now. Jeez. To do it. Easy chicken waterer. 10 minutes, under 10 minutes to make that waterer. Boom, and it's done, right? And under 15 bucks, you know, those waterers, five gallon waterers at Tractor Supply and other places are $40. 40. That is insane. You know, so 15 bucks and you have yourself 
a waterer and really it can be less than that if you can get the buckets for free mm -hmm. so that's gonna do it you all please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget the notification bell that will let you know anytime we post a new video to the channel so thank you all so much for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to you all we'll see you in the next video